What's up everyone? Welcome to The Main Issues. I am Al Taylor, also known as The Act 24, here with the one, the only, the greatest, the dragonborn, DJ Williams. We got a great we got a great show for you today. Um uh 31 million cocaine bust in Savannah, Georgia sets a new record. So we finally on the map, y'all. Police say people who smoke weed have green tongues. Really? A mother beats her seven-year-old son with a belt and threatens to break his face in front of school staff. And rapper T.I. has his daughter's hymen checked every year. She is now 18. All right. So I usually ask you how you doing. Yeah, typically. I want to talk about how I'm doing. (laughs) All right. Okay. So, you know, I just moved in here a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. I left my brother at the house that I used to live in and was hoping that one of my cousins would move in with him. Right. I asked him before I made the move. He said he was down. And, you know, after I made made the move, uh, gave it a little while, asked him again. And he, he ended up saying one time that that, uh. Uh yeah man I I want to move in and uh yeah I, I'll uh start trying to move in about a week months go by <laughs> and during these months I am trying to contact him not to like hassle him on if he's gonna move in or not but just to try to see if he's gonna move in or not because if you're not i just i just know and it's and it's cool and you know it's no bad blood or nothing but just not answering calls or texts or whatever so i just assume he didn't want to move in you would think yeah yeah so uh he hit me up last week (laughs) on i guess it was the first of november I guess it was like the first or the second of November, something like that. To say, he, to say, he I got the. He's like, he's like, yeah, uh, I got, I got that money for you. Uh, um, what time you get off? I'm like, <laughs> like, like what? wait, wait, what, what? Like, okay, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the message. Like, am I reading this right? Like, what? at first. I didn't even know what he was talking about. I had to think about it for a second because it had been so long. I had completely given up on it. I was like, oh, oh well. So he he said that, and I was like, okay. And I, I just was like, I'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he, you know, will come by bring me money if he brings me the money i'm giving him the keys i mean right uh, <laughs> this is so did he bring the money yes he did oh okay cool then he did bring the money but, but it was after a very long day it was a very long night oh my goodness so i came to the house uh to the old house to meet him there after I got off work at five, uh, it got around five thirty. I was getting ready to call him, but he ended up calling me first and was like, his car wouldn't start. So I'm like, okay, it's like what what's going on with it? He goes, goes through like what he didn't try. He just, he just got the car. It's an old, yeah. it's an old car. And, uh, after he started talking about what he tried, I'm like, what the tank sitting on? Because he was like, it's just not turning over and stuff. And I'm listening. I hear it. And I'm like, it sounds like it's not getting gas. Tank on E. Of course of it course, is. Of, of, of course. course so you, I'm you like. Know, we, uh, you know, we ride on E <laughs> for forever. My yeah. car on E right now. Yeah. I just got paid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ring got paid last week. <laughs> Still on E. 
<laughs> Straight up. <laughs> so, so I'm like, cool. That sound like, you know, that's it. Probably just out of gas. I go to the gas station, get them some gas. Happen to have a gas can outside at the old house. I didn't even know it was out there. Um, I forgot about it. But went up to the gas station, came over to the place where he was staying, and tried putting the gas in, still wasn't crank. And it was it was only like I only had like the little canister that's like um I guess it's a gallon. Yeah, I guess it's just one gallon. So we were thinking like maybe it just wasn't enough and it's not doing anything. So it was a whole thing. His uh like his his people came back and saw us out, out there messing with the car and uh you know it's like two old dudes now coming out there and like man let me see y'all under yeah, there let's see what y'all, y'all doing youngster. here yeah schooling us <laughs> schooling us and uh we go through all the same motions and well, yeah then it came to like yeah what you need to do is uh get you some starter fluid and see if you spray some starter fluid in the throttle body and see if it'll crank that way. That's where way you know it's the gas. It ain't getting gas. And yeah. And I was thinking the same thing, actually, because I had a very similar issue in my car. It, it was the fuel pump. And so we started thinking maybe it's the fuel pump. And I'm like, man, I used to have this issue all the time. I used to keep starter fluid. Looked in the car, didn't see no starter fluid. Like, dang, now we got to go to the store. Go to AutoZone and back. It's, um, it's like, it's close. Yeah, it's but see, yeah, I, I remember yeah, the yeah. House, so yeah, AutoZone right up the street. So, yeah, and, and the place he was staying at is not far from that. Like, oh, okay. we, we say really close. And, um, went there, came back with the starter fluid, go in the back to get the starter fluid out. And what's on the floor? It leaked out? No. Starter fluid is on the floor. A whole can that I had. (laughs) We done drove all the way to the store. Because I looked in the car, but I just looked real quick. Like, I didn't even check the back good. (laughs) So, it's a whole can sitting in there. Anyway, we try that. Of course, it, like, just starts cranking when it gets the starter fluid. But as soon as that runs out, it just turns off. So that way we know it's just not getting gas. Yeah. We try fuses and everything till we finally just said it got to be the fuel pump. Now we got to get go get go place. get a fuel pump. Wait, 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 wait. So it, never mind. Keep going. But like this is all this is all night. This yeah. is pretty late. I still ain't yeah, got the, that. Yeah, I would imagine so. Like, this is before the transaction was made. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he was planning on, you know, moving his stuff in the night in yeah. the car that he just got, which is cool. I understand. So, after we end up doing all that, he got somebody. It's like a guy around the corner or something who fixed cars. He said he'll fix it. Wouldn't say how much. I can't stand that. When people want to do work and won't say how much it is before they do the work. Right. I need to know now. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I get it because you know some all cars are different. But when you go time, to when you go to a real auto shop, what they do? What do they do? They tell you straight up, but they give you an estimate at yeah, least. True. Give me an estimate. What's the ballpark? Depending on how much work you gonna do, he's just like, all right, I got you, fix, it. yeah, just get the part. I'll be back here in the morning, whatever. I ain't told nothing about no money, <laughs> so he'll know how much it's gonna cost. And the whole time I'm thinking, like, this this, this, this gonna come out that rent money. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but end up after it was all said and done, I already spoiled that he did. Just go ahead and give me the money. I gave him the keys. And he got the car fixed the next day. It was the fuel pump. So, How much yeah. did the mechanic charge? Uh, 
he told me, but I don't remember. It wasn't ridiculous. It, it okay. was it was a, a so fair it, price. It didn't come out of the rent money, basically. It it well, it you couldn't have. You gave me the rent money, so oh, oh you could have gave that man some of that money back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I could have. Yeah, I could have. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you know, he ain't asked for none, so uh, hey, every everything old good. Get fed. I mean, the way he be talking, he ain't. He ain't hurting, right. so no. Yeah. But yeah, that that was that situation. What you got going on? I just went on for a long time about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, for me, mine's probably not, I mean, mine's not gonna be that long. But for me, it was a. Uh, so you know, I had that phone with the screen crack. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Eight Plus had the screen cracked on it for yeah. a long time. The cracks started to affect the touch screen so at one point the very top part of the screen didn't work and it slowly worked its way down to let's see by friday was pretty much to the middle of the screen anything at the top half to the middle point of the screen i could not touch it just didn't detect it at Uh. all which is very hard i got to put everything split screen turn it flip it rub it down okay so you know i know right and (laughs) So at one point, I realized that well, the touchscreen in itself wasn't really working like that. It would just work sometimes. Um, somehow, I figured out that the touchscreen works when it's cold. Don't know how I figured it out. My job requires me to go inside a lot of walk-in refrigerators and stuff. So I'm guessing I must have just clicked at one point. I can't recall why it clicked in my head, but it just did. It works when it's cold. And I need my phone for my job because we always send the pictures, uh, addresses, tasks, back and forth, so on and so forth. So I really need my phone. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to get it fixed. Last month, I got, I looked it up. Well, I looked at where I could get it fixed at. One Stop Wireless. They, uh, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get it fixed next week, which will be this weekend. Okay. Because... Wasn't gonna be able to do it. Wasn't gonna be able to afford it last weekend. Anyway, took it to One Stop Wireless as soon as I got off. I mean, I shot the One Stop Wireless because they closed at six. Right, man. So I get there. Now I know for a fact to replace an iPhone screen, it's like a hundred bucks. Okay. So I'm thinking, yo, it's gonna be around about a hundred bucks. Hell no, twice as much. Lady was like, oh, it's it's uh, okay. They she don't was- get that many of those that's not what she said she or? just no the lady just said that it just uh samsung screens cost more because you had to get the whole screen replaced it probably wasn't an option just to get like the the well, front they, glass replaced was there like not any none options that, none of that conversation had none, the so conversation didn't go so that that's way. what it was you you were getting that samsung's screen replaced even though iPhone also has a Samsung screen. Yeah, it, I know, but, which is funny as shit. But yeah. anyway, so she's just like, it's 239. I'm just like, fuck that. And I'm just like, well, look, like I said, I need it for work. So y'all kind of got me over barrel. It is what it is. So while she's writing up the little thing, I'm looking at the phones they got for sale. I was like, wait a minute, what's this? And it was a Pixel, and she was, and it basically cost the same amount as to replace the screen i was like i always i told you i always wanted a pixel granted like it wasn't the first gonna be the, pixel no it was a uh, was it two or three uh it was it was one of the older pixels but it definitely wasn't the pixel four that just came out yeah but nonetheless yeah. i wanted a pixel uh uh so i so she was so i was like wait well, does it work on t-mobile and she was like oh well it's unlocked so it's so oh wait a minute if you got t-mobile then here's this phone yeah uh, galaxy G- a10 so I ended up going with that because that's that GSM. That's it. Great sell. <laughs> no, G GS GSM. If you if you have like there's so there's a whole market of phones that are GSM only that are really cheap phones. Uh, usually uh, being sold. <laughs> usually being sold in other countries like India and, and stuff where. They just don't pay that much for phones. Like th- that's what it this is, is not in the market, basically, because uh, it, it was only like only for a few years are we now getting these real 
budget type phones that are good phones that we don't have to import. Like we don't have to import it from China or right. India or wherever. Uh, and the only issue usually is you, you have to have a GSM service, which is, is just a type of cellular network that your service provider oh, uses. Okay, yeah. Like Sprint and Verizon are a CDMA or it's just a different type of network. Okay. Yeah. She told me something, but told us something. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah. So she turned me on to that, and I, and this was like I said, the pixel and the replacement screen was like two thirty nine, and that was before tax. This was uh one ninety nine. So I was, yeah, we're gonna go with that then. Yeah. So I am going with that, and it's it, depending on what pixel it was, you probably made a better option. I mean, because those those especially those first pixels, they was alright. <laughs> I mean, this is an older phone, so it was gonna be alright either way. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad but I. But this phone that. just came out, right? Yeah, yeah, this, it just came out in February, so yeah, yeah. So that's so either way, I'm good. I got, I was able to be cheap and still got a decent phone that I didn't have to go way back on. Cause man, when she said that, dog on screen replace price. Ah right, man, if it wasn't for my job, like I said, if it if it did not require it for my job, I'd be like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I go get me a cricket. Yeah. One of them Obama phones or something. Yeah. Shoot, I'm not paying that. But Um, but I mean that's a like for for what you have in a phone there, that's it's pretty much as cheap as you can get. Maybe there's a like uh blue phones um it's a a budget brand oh okay they, the fuck is they make some really cheap phones and it's probably probably you could get something like that that uh not a 1080p not even a 1080p display uh for like a hundred or a hundred and fifty dollars probably oh that's good. so you you sound like you can you came out pretty nicely oh yeah I, i'm yeah. definitely satisfied yeah um, but yeah aside from that that was my foolishness um i know you're missing some stuff huh i know you're missing some stuff man going I'm from missing. going from the flagship level down to the budget level it can be jarring well for anybody that don't know, the Galaxy 8 Plus has a curved screen right here. I miss my curve, man. Curve. I miss my curve. Bullshit. <laughs> you don't like the curve? I can't stand curved screens. Stop curving the screens. It's so stupid. It's not even useful. It's useless. <laughs> man, that shit was useful. It, make, fuck. it the makes the side menu in It head. makes the best. You can have the side <laughs> menu. <laughs> On a regular flat screen. You don't need to curve for that. <laughs> you don't need to curve for that. Well, my find my me Galaxy app. Note 4 had the side display. That's where it came from. That's where oh. it started. Well, fine. Send me that app because I want that I want that menu back. Because, man, I got to put my dog on social media apps on the other page. I got to put my work apps on one page. I don't like all of that pages on my home page. I like a page yeah. for my home screen. I don't like all them pages. So that's all you like it for. You you used it for utility. Most yeah. people like it for the look. It kind of it look. makes it look a little less. Makes it look like it has a little thinner bezel. I mean, even though it's yeah. really not. It's that kind of stuff. More of a that kind of stuff don't do nothing to me. That's like a a friend of mine. She worked for a. She was a manager at the Geek Squad here for a long time. And I asked her about the Pixel, I think around the time Pixel 2 or 3 had came out. And she was like, oh, the Pixel is a great phone. And I was like, well, what do you have? She was like, oh, I got the iPhone. And I was like, well, why any particular reason why you don't got the Pixel? Oh, they ain't got no good cases. <laughs> what? She was like, I need my phone to be cute. Yeah, I'm not like her. I don't need a cute phone. I just needed to do what the hell it need to do. Mm-hmm. So whatever I paid for it to do, do that. I don't care how it look. I can... You can get decent cases anywhere. Shit, if I can't find a decent case, I guess somebody make me one. It ain't that big of a deal. It's True, Spanner. Yeah, I, I mean, I stay cased up. I, li- I like, I, but I like the thinner cases. I don't, yeah. Because yeah, well, they gave me that this big old bulletproof <laughs> looking case. Yeah, nah, you bet not get broke. I noticed it. Like that boom I noticed it doesn't. 
Yeah, I guess it does. It, yeah, you got a little bit of raisivity on there. No, I mean just the like the edges raise it up. I don't over like that. So if you, I don't like that. Um, I get that it's for protective yeah. issues, but I don't really care for it personally because oh, no. it's because when I'm trying to get something on the side, damn case in the way. But yeah, it, sure. I get used to See, it. you like using the side. You you a well, no, just because uh, you know I like using the Facebook Messenger for for my text messages. And that little bubble sits on the sides of the phone. It don't sit in the middle. So you can sit that bubble anywhere you want. Yeah, anywhere on the side. It don't sit in the middle. You cannot sit that thing in the middle. It has to be on the side somewhere. You can put it at the very bottom. You can put it at the very top. It has to be on the side, though. I'm pretty sure I can put my bubble wherever I want it. Of course, I don't have my phone right now <laughs> because we hey, recorded hey, this video on my phone. It. But. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can. But all right, I guess we get into the news now. Yeah, we spent about 20 minutes on that stuff. So, $31 million in cocaine right here. Mm, Make my nose right tickle. Here. Nose candy. Booger sugar. Okay. White girl. And whatever else they call the shit. Yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So customs agents seized 31 million worth of cocaine last week in Savannah, the largest cocaine seizure ever at the port of Savannah. Oh man. Wait. Yeah, I was about to say, ever? man. Y'all made me think that this was a world breaking record or something. No, it was just a <laughs> breaking record. <laughs> no, but seriously, I thought it was like at least the the state like uh, or some, the region y'all talking about just at the port okay whatever so we get but, there with the port of miami ain't it? <laughs> but yeah they they had had you thinking that we didn't we didn't did something here yeah or like they like that something. like that's something to be proud of <laughs> hey man this van i'm take take whatever credibility we can get <laughs> no, nothing happened this event. Man, they just seized thirty-one million dollars of cocaine. Right? Man, what you talking about? <laughs> nothing happened here. <laughs> right. <laughs> man, but it was it it was twenty one hundred pounds. Over twenty one hundred pounds of cocaine. That's a ton. That's, a lot. <laughs> That's, That's over a, lot of coke. a ton. That's too much. Dang, people <laughs> do coke like that? Well, I know you can turn coke into crack, but I mean, dang, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, Jesus Christ! Apparently, it was in duffel bags. Uh, twenty one duffel bags. What? See, all I'm thinking about is how much it costs for you buy all them damn duffel bags. <laughs> duffel bags ain't cheap, man. For real, duffel bags ain't cheap. That's true. That's true. It's, I just had to get a new duffel bag. It, yeah, yeah, they <laughs> yeah they not cheap. Uh, but it's, it's quarter of a brick. <laughs> Quarter of a brick each. You find them down duffel bags. <laughs> Shit, I'm pretty sure everybody on the team did just have duffel bags laying around. Like everybody I'm, gets duffel bags from home. I'm wondering how many bricks you could even get in there. They said they found 818 bricks of cocaine in it. So the motherfuckers were paying Tetris. I, I can't do that bricks. math. I, I can't do that math. I'm, it was in the bag. But of man. course, somebody gets shot when one disappears, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I just don't. I don't. I don't understand. Like, was that my question? Is was that coming here to be sold, or was it just passing Shit, through? That's crazy. It, it's, I guess not, it, I mean, it's not. It's not clear is a big in this area. Article. We are a pretty big port, so it could have just been passing through. Yeah, it's it's very possible it could just pass through because I don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people who do drugs and stuff in Savannah, but most of that's just weed. Yeah, coke. I'm not saying people in Savannah don't do coke. I'm saying I don't think Savannah got that big of a coke community. But then again, I'm not gonna act like I'm that in tune with the streets I to have, know who I have how no much idea. coke gets slung around here because I'm not. I ain't trying to put on for nobody. Right, no up and coming rapper trying to fucking fake treat credit. Look, so I'm just surprised we got that much coke floating around here. I'm going to say they must have just been passing through. I don't want to put Savannah on that like that. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that's all I really had to say about that. Is it, it was crazy. But then again, you know, I don't know. Artists usually uh, okay, artists it, are known for being 
It was being shipped from South America to Europe. Oh, so it was just passing through. Apparently. Damn, I was about to yeah. be a schedule. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, I you know, so. artists are known for getting high all yeah, kind of ways. That's very true. One of the biggest art communities here. <laughs> Whatever to take that edge off. Get them creative juices flowing. Dang man, I I hope it don't be no it don't be no trouble because we the place where it got caught at. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know what? Uh, back to my job, which I asked, and apparently it's allegedly unrelated. But you know, uh, my job requires us to drive trucks, so we get pulled over by DOT. For people who don't know, DOT kind of polices like truck drivers and stuff like that. So we get pulled over by DOT. They checking the truck and everything. Like, oh, turn the wheel this way, turn the wheel that way. And I'm like, and I was like, hey, why did we get pulled over? Like, did we break some kind of rules or anything? No, it's just routine checks. We're doing them all over the highways. So I was like, oh, is it because of that big drug bust? Because it, it, the day, <laughs> that same morning, me and my coworker drove ahead out the warehouse. He showed me the report, like, almost immediately first thing oh, this morning. Wow. So I'm guessing that happened yesterday or happened early this morning. So... Uh, so he showed me that. So when we get pulled over, I think it was like round two. So I asked the cop, I mean, well, I asked the DOT officer, I was like, oh, does this have anything to do with that big old truck bus? And he was like, no, no, no. We've been was planning on doing this months ago, months ago. He was like, yeah. So we got all the feds here and everything. I was like, um, all right. Well, I don't know how DOT operates, but that's extremely convenient. Whatever. So. It was. Oh, on October 29th. So it was a good week ago, apparently. Oh, yeah, we it The news is probably just coming yeah, out. Yeah, they probably just this, released it, yeah. Uh, this story was last updated here on CNN uh, November 5th. Yeah, they probably just, uh, what you call it, unclassified it or whatever. Right. Yeah, while it was being investigated. So yeah. that's probably that's what we're just though. hearing on it. Typical, typical police uh, routine. <laughs> Speaking of police, police are saying that people Please, who smoke say. weed have green tongues. But where do they get that from? Uh, it's just all the potheads, they bust got green tongues. My... Well, according to this article, they're being, they have been trained to look for that. What? Yeah. Wait, which all cops are a certain city? It got it can't be all cops because that's just ridiculous. This story comes from York, Pennsylvania. Apparently, no comment. I don't really no. Comment. Really no comment. No, yeah, I don't. Sure I, don't I don't know. <laughs> I heard about Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just. I I don't see where you get this from. What? That doesn't even, bro. You and I both know some fucking potheads, man. Yeah. Anybody got the green tongues? I mean, I hadn't been looking at it like that, but I never I noticed any. It's pretty especially obvious. not the pictures that they are showing here. Yeah, so like, I'm looking at that this? like, ugh. It just looked like he had too many annihilators or something. Yes, that looked like he'd been eating some green apple something candy. <laughs> All this sound Drink like some is good old Kool Aid. Goddamn candy, you get the munchies, <laughs> which everybody knows ain't none of that. A, a thrill or something? Hey, hey yeah, a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> you get high on a thrill. Shit, man, that's the most ridiculous crap. So, so were they arresting it, little kids too for green tongues? It it states here that that it was it was written up in something. That that was something to look for. What is there any scientific evidence of that? No, there is none. Not. I don't even want. I don't even know why I asked it. There is none. No scientific evidence. No, Man, no yeah. study oh, yeah. was done. Anything to what well, they? I, mean, I know they must have went nuts during Halloween. Then yeah, the motherfuckers eating candy left and right. Oh, the kids are on it too. We got locked down the block. Yeah, so the the myth seems to ha- have existed since 1984. Get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> but it's dumb. But it's just like this story is coming out now because because they're stupid. Some, somebody got pulled over for for speeding and he had they, a green tongue. They had they noticed a green tongue. Now, uh, and when they tested him, what happened? No, they they actually were. I th- I think they were under the influence, but uh, I I think they were they were using it for medicinal purposes oh, okay. and had uh the proper you they know were, yeah. license and prescription <laughs> or whatever for for that. But they also were speeding under the influence, right? But so but he's supposed to drive under. Any kind of influence, yeah. So even if you even if you have a prescription for marijuana, for you're still tons, not supposed to be driving tons. under influence. If anybody knows a cop is a cop, please have them put something in the comments because we're gonna talk about this again. <laughs> I want to know what the hell does it, any cop anywhere else follow this crap? Like green tongues. Please tell me nobody else is trained to point this out. Y'all gonna be fucking snatching on little kids and it shit. It could be Green anything. Tongue. Yes, all the fucking additives and crap we have in our food. Man, anything green. Hell, green tongues. They could have been drinking a kale shake. Ew. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, possible too. Some fucking some green Kool-Aid. Anything. Damn. Fucking green tongues. Man, get the fuck out of here. On to the next one. A mother beats her seven-year-old son with a belt and threatens to break his face in front of school staff. Nah, I saw this video. Yeah. So, at first, in the beginning of it, I'm just like, well, I don't really see what the big deal is. And before I could even completely think that sentence out, it went beyond <laughs> what it was, what was ever should have been necessary. But... I mean, I don't know about your upbringing, but since we both from the South, I'm going to assume you got your ass whooped like I did. I did. And I acted a fool in school. Right. In in grade school, in elementary school. I ain't going to say I acted a fool, but I I did some stuff. I acted a fool. (laughs) I did did some stuff. And I know my dad don't play. So I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking now that I'm older. Why the hell would you do that? (laughs) I still don't know why I was acting a fool. We was just... You know, my mom was just here last weekend. Yeah, and uh, we were talking Sing about that something. to her when you get a chance. See oh, I will. Think. I will. It, we were talking about something, and I think Tiffany asked, "Like, was I bad in school?" <laughs> no, she she asked if I was a well behaved child or something like that. That, and I was like, "Yeah, till I got to school." <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Yep, like he would act a fool at yeah, school." Pressure is a motherfucker, man. I don't even <laughs> know that it was that. I mean, I wasn't like, I wasn't popular or nothing in school, and that was definitely not getting me any more popular. I would just have what bad kids fits. are always popular. Uh, they didn't want to be friends with this one because I would have fits of rage and throw chairs and desks. Jesus Christ! All you? over the room. Yeah, oh, fucking <laughs> exactly. Ass, mild manner. Everybody says that when I'm telling like them. Like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I would act a, act a fool, and I don't even know why to this day. I really should be in some kind of therapy about that because I really I just want to know like where that was coming from but I don't have those issues now thankfully but <laughs> but yeah that. I definitely got my behind whooped on occasion well more than occasion yeah, there were same. a lot of occasions <laughs> same and here. even uh I believe yeah I, I'm pretty sure I got whooped in at school before I, I've one been I whooped think at I school missed. before. I think I missed getting one at school. Yeah, but other than that, it didn't matter whether they were at school or not. I got them when I got home. Yeah, but this is beyond. Yeah, that man, that was way overboard. This is way, and then she's cussing them out, calling calling them the n word, which needs to be abolished. You know and what she- it looks like? <laughs> it looks like beyond scared straight. 
Oh, the, snap. the TV yeah, show. Yeah. That's exactly yeah, what the it looks like. Kind of overboard stuff they be doing, except they don't actually be hitting them kids. Hitting yeah, them. besides actually hitting the kids, like the way she and gets. Look at the teachers, up, man. The teachers are scared. Sense, they, mm, yeah, they got like the the, the the one teacher got her her hands behind her back because she's like, I'm trying not to stop her. Like she, like they want to do something, but they know that they can't. Yeah. Uh, that except after the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that has of course. Be. And you know what? I I only want to know. Well, I can only imagine rather what the teacher who called her feels like. Like, dang, I don't want to call her again. Yeah, like, she geez. probably never gonna call again. You probably, man, you probably scared that lady to death. She just called because she wanted the child to act right and figure maybe you could, you know, talk to him a little, you know, or necessarily scare him into behavior like he should but i'm pretty sure she was not expecting what she got and i wonder what he was like when she was gonna call his mom you think he was like like call my mama then call her get her on the phone right now man i know i told <laughs> one of my teachers she said she was gonna call my dad I think I was like ten or something. I was like, "Oh, he ain't gonna do nothing." I'm I sitting know there I said lying, stuff like that. I'm thinking to myself, "You know you did. Yeah. You know you in trouble." <laughs> and while I'm getting my beatings, oh, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna do nothing. Oh man, <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. But hey, guess we'll guess we'll never know unless the teacher does an interview or something. But man, yeah, but yeah, she went too far. She went way too far, man. <laughs> And and it's like she's the, it's not just the whooping it's the way she's dragging him and screaming at like, him, cussing screaming him out, screaming like the him the verbal kind of stuff Talk is about, probably the face. worst. Like, yeah, geez. yeah. You got two teachers standing right here and not even counting the ones that could probably hear you. She she put her hands in the one teacher face. Face yeah. one time, yeah. She yeah, she, she didn't mean to. She and she and the way light. and the way she switched it up so quick is disturbing. It's just like she just like yeah. You thought I want to go down here? And, oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, go right back. <laughs> hey, you don't want to be the person who threatened the teacher now. You in yeah. <laughs> but they uh. A, Apparently, they they did contact authorities about the situation. No, no surprise there. Yeah, and it's uh, and then another story came out saying that five kids will be removed from um from custody of mother seen in a viral video Damn, getting some with the belt. Five apparently. Oh, I mean that it's, it's taking five kids. So I imagine she must have five. Mm. Uh, I mean, granted, she was overboard. She didn't seem like the abusive type, though. Yeah, and that's... But she definitely do seem like she needs to calm down a bit. That's the thing with this. Yeah. And it's not really... it, it It seems like it's not that divided. What do you mean? Among... Like I'm looking at comments on these articles and stuff. Most of the people saying things are saying that it's just a butt whooping. Oh, they're like, is that don't surprise me. Like this, like this is nothing. I got beat like this all the time. (laughs) It's it's a bunch of stuff like that. that It's it's like why? Why is everybody getting so upset? She's disciplining her child. One I saw said that. Uh, we need more. Well, actually, multiple ones. It was like we need more mothers like this, and and the kids will stop shooting up schools and stuff. That's the case all in its own. But yeah. apparently, something does need to happen with that. Cause what the heck is going on? They shooting up schools all the time. Yeah. But my thing is, and I always say this about kids and relationships: you can't tell nobody what to do with their kids. I mean, and true. I guess technically the courts can, but we not no judges or anything. And even then, I would say courts and we had no because, like, I would even agree that I don't consider, I don't, I don't think that's abuse. 
But at the same time, I do think she went too far. Um, yeah. I also don't think that should happen at school cause, because beating is such a divided thing. These days, once upon a time, that was fine. When we was growing up, that wouldn't have... Ain't no teacher would have broke a sweat or shed a tear for you getting spanked in school. But now, you can't do you can't do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so, that definitely should have been something that I would have waited for you to get home with, which I'm sure she probably wished she would have waited to get him home. Yeah. Um, and definitely could have took that down to several notches. But other than that, I don't necessarily think she's abused. And they even, uh, I think the thing even said that the child didn't show signs. Yeah, of there abuse. were no, there yeah, was he no just, physical signs. Right. Of, so he just, he just got a good American ass with him. Yeah. So, but again, I agree she went overboard. I don't think she's probably, it does, yeah, it definitely doesn't seem abusive. Definitely overboard though, and the talking to him like that, that was way just too much. That's 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 what and I think the talking the way she was talking to yeah. him bothered bothered me a little more than the woman. That's was that's what's disturbing about this. That's, that's what's about horrifying about this is, right. is that it like does. I don't want anybody coming at me like that. Right. As an adult. Right. You come at me like that, I'm I'm bucking up. Uh, Hold yeah, on, wait a minute now. Yeah. <laughs> so Definitely not. And I don't even recall getting talked to like that. No. As a kid. I, I definitely no, did not. You, you just got the beating in probably some direction. Mine was <laughs> like, that's about it. Did I tell <laughs> you never do that again. <laughs> hit me, hit me, huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, something along them lines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, same by here. Uh, but never like, you know. I don't hear about you grading and challenging my humanity. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just then he get know. a beaten and threatened punishment. Oh my God. You're supposed to be one or the other. Not beaten and punishment. Right. So I got to kick this behind with, man, I can't play the game. Like, what is my motivation here? Yeah. Cause, uh, but I guess it's technique. Like you said, it's not a, it's not really abuse. It's not really abuse. Nah, I wouldn't it's, consider it abuse. I've seen it's, some. It's verbal. I've seen some child. It's, it's verbal, definitely verbal abuse. Verbal yeah. abuse. She, she do but it's get, not get physical abuse. No, I've seen that. And who knows? It it may make him a better person in life. Maybe it's definitely gonna make him a better student. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Nobody wants to replay that. I don't know though. I don't know because, like I said, I I mean I got. A fair share of whoopings, and I don't feel like it made me do any better in school. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something kicked in eventually, I'm guessing. Not really. <laughs> I mean, you don't do that stuff now, so I'm saying. I don't. Just yeah, I guess some. Yeah, you're right. Some. some I, don't know, I think you in. need to give moms a little more credit than that. Yeah. Which I don't know, man. This discipline is a. But tra- raising a child is a amazing thing. Like, and that's another thing. I can't we really talk people. about it so much because I don't have a child to I don't, be. I don't either, right. but we know people. Well, we we grew up, you know, so we know people. We know kids who've gotten beatings all the time, and we know kids who didn't get beatings, and some of them are sick. Some of the ones who didn't get beatings are successful, and some of the ones who didn't get beatings are horrible. A- adults, uh, uh, yeah, and some of the ones who got beaten are great, and some who got beaten are horrible. So it's kind of like it's a is is it really is no is there a full foolproof way to raise a kid? Yeah, like I, you, you dribble, shoot, and hope for the best, right? And check me, and for your daughters, you check the hymen <laughs> every the year, same <laughs> man. <laughs> so rapper Ti. Has his daughter's hymen checked every year? Um, I didn't read too much about this or, or hear the. It, I heard a little bit of it, but my you, you probably know a lot more night. than me. No, I don't. Uh, my uh, cousin told me about it last night, um, and we was bugging. Hey, that no, that was this morning actually. My cousin told me about it this morning, and I looked into it after that. So. What what I shared with you is all that I know, oh. and but like the he was on some podcast I forgot the name of the podcast actually, but it was a uh, but it was some ladies podcast and he mentioned right. that he was but anyway they took the episode down so it's not like you can go back and hear it again because they didn't want to get they didn't want to get dragged with him about that thing because apparently they laughed at it, mm-hmm. 
uh, or laugh during the thing. So, but uh, yeah, he said he takes his daughter to the OBGYN every year, uh, get her time in check. <laughs> what he said, uh, the, what lady he was quoted saying, she don't ride horses, she don't play sports. Just uh, check the hymen and give me my results expeditiously. Expeditiously, yeah. You know, that's T.I. Known said. for saying that. Matter of yeah, fact, yeah, I think yeah. that's what his podcast is called. Oh, yeah, okay. He, he has podcasts. He hasn't been doing that long, yeah. but yeah, it's I think it's called podcast. expeditiously or something like that. But uh, man, so of course he got drugged by all the women. I don't know if any guys chimed in. I didn't see anything about any guys. But not not literally on social media on on right yeah on social media, media. He's but <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I do think that's a bit much I mean don't get me wrong I understand no I don't think there's too many men out there that like the idea of their daughters having sex before eighteen or what hell I don't even want to think about my sister's doing that but I got three nephews so of course something's happening but did he mention same, when he started doing that he does not. Yeah, she she's officially eighteen, and this just happened this week. So she just turned eighteen. So granted, it could technically stop at this point, but then when you got a dad who's rich like that, and you're probably living off of him, you right? Don't really have a lot of wiggle room. It's just like, hey, do what I say. I'm gonna cut your allowance. <laughs> That's an abuse of power, though. It is. It is very abuse of power. It's very abuse of power, and actually, that's, that's that's been a lot of what people have been saying about it is how abusive of. A, uh, how abusive and controlling it is. Like, yeah. you, you don't have any right to do that, which I would say that he doesn't have a right to do that. But at the same time, if she's letting him, if she's letting him do it, go right on the head. And apparently his wife don't seem to have a problem with it. So, and, but this goes back to what I was saying about the kid thing. You can't tell people what to do with the kids. Nope. Granted, I definitely don't approve. He's gone way too far. Uh, up until about, now granted, I kind of understand you don't want stuff like this. Again, I understand you don't want stuff like that to happen, but I don't know. Mm. That's, I mean, everybody's not raising nuns because we don't have a lot of fucking plethora of run, nuns running around. Yeah. So stuff like that is, man, it's, it's, it's so old fashioned. And again, I get it. I think that's too much. And even if he was, and even if he is doing that, he definitely shouldn't have shared that. And, and I'm sure he's regretting that right now. Yes. Because he hasn't even responded. And T.I. is very verbal. Mm. And he has not responded to anything wow. anybody's been saying. But his, and his daughter hasn't technically been responding. Response. Yeah, no, he hasn't given a response. And his daughter hasn't technically said anything else, but she's been, she's been noticed liking people's arguments about the whole process. So apparently she's not 100% comfortable with it herself, which again, makes perfect sense. Man, people look at this stuff, man. People really look deep into this stuff. They seen the likes that she made. She hadn't said anything, but they can see the likes. I've seen her when I looked this up. So she's pretty. So first of all, so I know she's pretty. She's a famous person's daughter. And his family is on his reality show, which I don't watch reality shows. So I'm sure she's on there. So I'm sure once she made her debut, all the dudes her age, and I'm pretty sure some older ones too, probably looked her up on social media and been following her since. Right. So she's popular. All you got to do to be popular on social media is be pretty in the first place. So you guys got to be pretty or funny. It take a little more than that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have to be astoundishingly pretty you just have to be a little cute female female yeah well we can only speak on female we don't know what popular dudes are out there i so. don't think there are many who wrong. do it the way well, because that they do it selling a bath water man well, no <laughs> no because women majority of women aren't as nasty as majority of dudes so, uh, granted, no, ain't no dude gonna be able to get away with selling this. But well, no, I'm not even gonna say that because he might not be selling it to women. But I'm pretty sure some dudes out there that'll buy some. That's very true. So, but again, but that market isn't gonna be as big. True, you definitely not gonna make it. Never gonna be. You as ain't big. gonna get rich off of. You might be able to pay your bills for a little while, but but even still, 
that so all that's like I said, all you need to do to uh, be popular on social media is be pretty. And she already got that check. And I know some of his daughters have like a little music group. I don't know if she's one of them, hmm. but uh, so if she is, but even then, so she's popular enough on social media. So all you you seeing that stuff, dude? Look how far they go back for the celebrities who said wrong things. You yeah. pulling up stuff from twenty years ago on Twitter? Yeah. What the hell? Most people aren't even the same people the next day. Yeah. All it takes is for you to read one inspirational article and you completely change yourself. <laughs> and y'all pulling up stuff somebody oh. said like 10 years ago? Like, come on, man. So, yes, her, oh, her likes are know very well ex- documented. I don't know if it's as simple as, as that. Uh, <laughs> that I mean, of course, I'm exaggerating article. a little bit, but come on. You done, you done read some stuff or seen some stuff <laughs> and it definitely made you change your views. So at this at that same instance, you are not who you Definitely. were the day before. Definitely. So again, you pulling up stuff from ten years. But either way, my point is her likes are obviously decently documented, and especially during this divisive uh, argument. So I'm pretty sure people took it notice. And I don't. I think it could backfire on him. On him? Yeah. Sounds like it already did. Not that way, but I mean, in trying to keep his daughter pure and stuff oh yeah as soon as she get from underneath him but she going <laughs> all out hey gonna be like uh was it lawrence fishburne his daughter ended up doing porn uh, like right after i forgot all about that unfortunately she yeah she wasn't ugly but i don't know she had some skin condition or something like that i didn't really care for it uh, but nonetheless she, she did it to the point. I, I, I may have seen the the scenes for <laughs> i know in front i saw but, <laughs> <laughs> no sugar coating i saw them things <laughs> she did that thing <laughs> yeah. but yeah and you know just going bug wild yeah, I, and that's just the famous daughter. Shoot, ain't no telling what other regular kids are doing. All that kind of right. stuff. Right, and you don't even have to do porn. You can do your stuff in private. Yep, everything. So, she, next thing you know, she eighteen. Then she can pop up with her OnlyFans. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't she, want she me to have, talk about that. <laughs> she can have an OnlyFans man. account. No, I go ahead and talk about it. That's what we here for. Man, my mom would listen to this show, man. <laughs> Can't be talking about OnlyFans. Hey, man, fans. my dad listened to it, too. Man, look, I'm sick of OnlyFans. You sick of... <laughs> no, because even the porn stars are moving to OnlyFans and stuff. So I've noticed. There's not even... It's not going to be anything professional left. No, it doesn't seem like it is. I can't be looking at this low quality, <laughs> one camera angle having, hitting it from the back <laughs> with the head in the pillow. I can't even see the woman. Dude, stop, stop. Oh, snap. I can't have this. I, I don't oh, want. Oh, uh. <laughs> Why would you even bring that up? I did. I was yeah. talking about the dog going. I was talking about Ti daughter going wild. Anyway, but with people, all of that, people I probably agree. don't know I don't, what we're talking about. No, anyway, they, they, they know what we're talking have about. No idea. Well, the dudes do. Well, I don't know how many no female idea. viewers we got. They probably don't. But uh, people probably typing in right here. Only fans. Oh God! <laughs> Google the movie. <laughs> but uh, actually, you can't even. No, yeah, you have to find us. Yeah, you have to have well, like a uh, link or something, right? Yeah, but or you, you you have to search the person on the site. I don't, I don't know. The only way I've know. ever seen it is if you follow a girl on Instagram who has an OnlyFans, they it's literally always in someone's uh, bio. So right. You go to their profiles, OnlyFans link, or they do this thing where it's a little site you can go to that have it set up. You click the link. And it'll take you, and it, it'll take you to a page for that person. It'll have like their Twitter, their Snapchat, and all the other stuff, LinkedIn. So, okay, that I see more than anything now because everybody doesn't just have an Instagram or you know, or, or probably even an OnlyFans. But yeah, it'll like link them to their Twitter or whatever. So instead of putting twenty different links in your bio, they just put that one link, and it'll take you to a several links. Yeah. 
But uh, and they be having some ridiculous prices on there. They do. I, they do. Any any price. Um, they do because I think I'm getting, they can I'm probably get a little too personal, but hey, I mean that's why we're here. Any price for porn to me is it's too much. Rushed. No, if I can't get it for free, you can keep it. I don't need to see it. <laughs> Apparently, no, I don't I've need been singing that for years. I've been saying that for years. If if people had to pay for porn if there was no other way to get it but to pay for it i think a lot of people just wouldn't even bother nope i wouldn't (laughs) i just watch some twerk videos and call it a day you know but this is coming from a person who grew up in the age where high speed internet became a thing and blew up and all of a sudden Everything was free. See, now we're about, to, was... now, see, now we're about to show our age. Because, <laughs> dude, uh, we was... Because we're, we're the same age. So, I remember when we had dial-up. And my mm-hmm. dad is a bit of a nerd. So, once high-speed internet became a thing... Well, Comcast specifically. Once Comcast cable internet became a thing, we jumped on that. We First people I knew that had it. Me and my older brother. That was... Uh, well, my dad, my older brother, that was it. I knew nobody right. else with Comcast Internet. And then, of course, it became so much of a regular thing that just about everybody has it. But, man, I remember, like I said, I remember the transfer. I remember having to wait 20 minutes for a doggone Internet game to load as an awesome Dragon Ball Z pictures or something as opposed to something that literally loaded once you clicked it. So, I remember. I remember that happened. I remember... When you couldn't download music and music and videos and stuff, or matter of fact, I remember when you could begin download music. And then I, I remember, remember when it taking videos days to download a, a MP3 through non. I guess we had through better. non-paid means. <laughs> I, was about to say, I, I guess we must have better. I don't remember it ever taking a, a whole day. Yeah. But it. But oh I no, remember. no, not. I, I take that back. I remember uh, the thing. I was trying to download. You ever seen the movie Idle Hands? Yeah. Uh, Jessica Alba is in the movie. Yeah. I love Jessica Alba so at that I. time. And there's a Black scene. Black Angel. Was it Dark Angel? Yeah, Dark, Dark Angel. Angel. Shoot, yeah, yeah. Of course. Just, there's right. a scene <laughs> in the film uh, at the end where she's uh, she's in her underwear and. I don't remember that. Getting, she almost got crushed by a car. Okay, and she, uh, the guy ends up pushing her out, and he gets crushed. But okay, that I remember. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was downloading that little, I don't know, fifteen time, but... second scene or something like that, and it took days. On, um, I guess it would be P to P. Or, you took it back, boy. Yeah, because it was I don't it wasn't technically a torrent. Yeah, I, I can't remember how it was downloaded. Okay, but yeah, anyway, I, I dabbled in P to P for a, a long time. I didn't used to do the um the torrent thing like that. I used yeah. to like say it went from Napster, and then once Napster got shut down and started charging people, all these other apps opened up like. I mesh, bear share, Morpheus, yeah. LimeWire, which I think most people in the hood learn LimeWire, but because I'm a little bougie, LimeWire had too many viruses. We didn't use LimeWire. Man, bear I, share. Wish, I wish we had more time on this. <laughs> <laughs> I right. can talk about this yeah, all day. Bear share or whatever else. <laughs> but uh, it seemed like every other month there was a new, a better app to use. But anyway, so you would find whatever little videos and stuff you could find off of that. But like I said, I remember when they could just no, be music. And there wasn't previews and stuff. You oh, just had to download them. it yeah, you had and to see what you go got. Go with the title. And, <laughs> man, I remember when I found out that you could download videos because my dad ended up finding out. I'm doing the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up finding out you could download videos because my dad ended up finding out. And like he tried to download some movie. Um, I forgot what it was. He tried to download some movie, but it ended up being a completely wrong movie. It was supposed to be, I think it was, I think we was trying to download a new X-Men movie. The first X-Men had just came out. So we trying to download it online. Yeah. It ended up being, um, the down to earth movie with Chris Rock. I was like what? That ain't even remotely close. Uh, and, and, and there was stuff on there like that where people were just trolling you. Yeah. This like, was just like, what are you getting out of this? Luckily, like a lot of this stuff, a lot of the stuff wasn't like viruses. Right. But it was 
just like not even remotely no. what you which like he on. ended up picking up the habit of download multiple <laughs> multiple at uh the same video at the same time just because people yeah just to see if it's dicks. got the right thing yeah. so yeah but man <laughs> show my age like i remember the, i remember the whole kid all crossover and Me now like shoot can you i remember before youtube yeah if you wanted to see all this foolishness you had to go to it was like e-bombs world or all the other little random sites or, yeah man they got easy now. Everything franchised. Everything. Google owns everything. Yeah. It, it's so much stuff now. <laughs> so, man, y'all lucky. Y'all don't know. Y'all know what y'all got. Yeah. With that, I think we we got to end it. Yeah, we actually pretty decent amount of time over. But uh, this is the main issues where we talk about some controversial things and then we just end up nerding out as you see because that's just who we are (laughs) and that's just what we do that's just what we do and if you like what we do remember to like subscribe comment share review anything possible that you can do to show that you mess with us and we thank you in advance also i need to be saying ring the bell if you are on youtube uh, subscribe you have to ring the bell do the stupid clicking the bell you gotta go to all and to make sure that you are getting the notifications for this because apparently nobody's getting their notifications it, it, oh, like man. yeah you gotta ring oh, the bell like what kind of stupid thing is it where you automatically decide that this person doesn't want notifications even though they just subscribe give them the op- option to not receive notifications not the option to receive notifications it's just uh, yeah, I, don't get it. I don't get it i want to emphasize on sharing because we, we're getting a lot of love but it's only coming from a handful of people which don't get me wrong we love you guys we appreciate, we appreciate it. everything but want more people to hear us man please share we share please share yeah do all that and uh we'll see you in the next one peace